is Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variables as separable method. Let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus x square equals to x square into exponential 3y using variables as separable method. Solution. Given differential equation is dy by dx plus x square equals to x square into e power 3y. So you could write this as dy by dx equals to x square into e power 3y minus x square. Now take x square common from these two terms. You will get dy by dx equals to x square into e power 3y minus 1. Again, you could write this as dy equals to x square, x square into e power 3y minus 1 into dx. Now here, we should get all the y terms. So we'll take this e power 3y minus 1 to RHS, we'll get 1 by e power 3y minus 1 into dy equals to x squared into dx, right? So now, consider 1 by e power 3y minus 1. If we take 3y common will get 1 minus e power 3y into 1 minus 1 by e power 3y, right? Then you could write this as 1 by e power 3y into 1 minus, we know that 1 by e power x is equal to e power minus x. Then you could write this 1 by 3 power y as e power minus 3y. Again, you could write this as 1 by e power 3y into 1 by 1 minus e power 3y, right? And you can replace this 1 by e power 3y by, since we know that 1 by e power ax equals to e power minus ax, then you can write this 1 by e power 3y as 1 e power, sorry, e power minus 3y. So you could write this as e power minus 3y into 1 by 1 minus e power minus 3y. Okay? That is 1 by e power 3y minus 1 equals to e power minus 3y by 1 minus e power minus 3y. Since 1 by e power 3y minus 1 equals to e power minus 3y by 1 minus minus 3y. So you could write this as e power. Now replace 1 by e power 3y minus 1 with e power minus 3y by 1 minus e power minus 3y into dy equals to x square into dx. Here the variables are separable. Now, integrating integral e power minus 3y by 1 minus e power minus 3y into dy equals to integral x squared into dx. Since we know that integral x power n into dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1 and integral f dash of y 
by f of y into dy equals to log mod y. Sorry, log mod f of y. Let's see. Okay. If you take the integrand of LHS. You're having e power minus 3y by 1 minus e power minus 3y. Let's take f of y equals to 1 minus e power minus 3y. Then f dash of y equals to derivative of 1 with respect to y is 0 minus derivative of e power minus 3y is minus 3 into e power minus 3y. Okay, minus into minus 3 into e power minus 3y. So this equals to minus into minus plus 3 into e power minus 3y. In order to use this formula, we need to have f dash of y by f of y. We are having f dash of y is 3 into e power minus 3y by 1 minus e power minus 3y. But in the integrand of LHS, you don't have any 3 here. For that purpose, in order to use this formula, we'll multiply and divide 3 here. Okay. So now, multiply and divide 3 to the LHS. RHS as it is. So you could write this as 1 by 3 into integral 3 into e power minus 3y by 1 minus e power minus 3y into dy equals to integral x square into dx. Okay. Since we know that integral f dash of y by f of y into dy equals to log mod f of y. And so you'll get 1 by 3 into log mod f of y which is equals to 1 minus e power minus 3 by equals to integral x square for n equals to 2 right here n is not equals to minus 1 and we don't have n equals to minus 1 here so we can apply this formula we'll get x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c You could write this as 1 by 3 into log 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to x cubed by 3 plus c. Then 1 by 3 into log 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to now take 1 by 3 common then you will get 1 by 3 into x cubed plus 3c. Now we can cancel 3. We'll get log 1 minus z power minus 3y equals to x cubed. Since c is an arbitrary constant, so you can write this 3c as c. As we know that if log a equals to b, then a equals to e power b. Then you will write this as 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to e power x cube plus c. So you could write this as 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to e power x cube into e power c. Since e power a plus b equals to e power a into e power b. And if c is an arbitrary constant, then e power c is equals to c. So you will write this as 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to e power x cube into c. That is 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to c into e power x cube is a required answer. So therefore, 1 minus e power minus 3y equals to c into e power x cube 
is the required solution. So let's complete the problem. We have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.